I'm here uh, in one of the refugee camps and we have uh, Yvonne Ridley uh, from the United Kingdom and we have Tokia Sharif. Uh, firstly, we'll start with Yvonne Ridley. Um, what, are, what have you seen here so far uh, in these refugee camps? Well, I've been inside some of the um, some of the tents, and the you know these are unprecedented times. Apparently, weather-wise, there's not been rain like this for more than seven years, and of course, the ground's saturated. the The conditions are really muddy and miserable. Um, but the refugees that I've spoken to so far. Um, you know, they, they fled places like um, Hama, Palmyra, uh, and, and outlying areas. Um, but they would prefer even this to uh, to going back. Uh, you know, to, and and uh, it, it's heartbreaking because the problem is vast. It's it's immense. There are children here who should be in school, who should be educated. Um, I've heard some great stories about the wonderful education projects that Taki is running um, but to make them work they have to keep the classroom sizes small and uh, and so it must be difficult for you to see you know the couple of young boys that we saw before who who aren't being educated and um, so you've got a huge task ahead of you. Uh, we also have uh, Tokia Sharif, uh, he's here as well. Um, what is, how important is it that people from outside see firsthand, as opposed to just in videos or on the internet, what the realities are like here on the ground? Um, I think it's uh, paramount, it's really important um, because uh, the majority of organizations that are on the ground at the moment, especially in these areas, are grassroots organizations. And uh, this, in a sense, fallacy or figures of, you know, billions of dollars of aid coming into Syria actually isn't being seen on the ground. And, and, and that's what we want people to understand. We want people to understand that after seven years of war, running away from bombs and, uh, and ISIS and all these different traumas and troubles, people's lives in the refugee camps are very, very difficult and, and, and very, very miserable. Do you see the women here in these camps as vulnerable or what is your sense that you've been, uh, that you've gauged particularly from the women in the uh, refugee camps? Well I think all refugees are vulnerable and um, one of the th things that I have noticed is the absence of the major aid agencies uh, like you said it's it's the small agencies the grassroots organizations you know there's no Red Crescent here there's no um, Oxfam there's none of the uh, names that you would associate with uh, humanitarian aid uh, here and so you know it's vitally important that uh, these smaller uh, charities are able to um, to operate because the harsh reality is there's a bigger crisis in Yemen and people are forgetting about Syria now and um, it's almost as though right Syria's done dusted everything sorted well it quite clearly from what we've seen here today it's not sorted at all uh, the need is as great as as ever and with this unprecedented weather um, thrown on top um, I guess that, that aid is needed more than ever. I am Bilal Abdul Karim on a very, very cold and rainy uh, day here in northern Syria with Tokia Sharif and Yvonne Ridley. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.